I am back with another video. This video, I was watching Little uh, This Nation. And this thing come up about Lady Antebellum changing the name of their group, Antebellum, because it has racial, I guess, has ties to racial or whatever. I don't even know what Antebellum is. Because I, I don't even know all of this racial stuff. This stuff means people go back in here to find out what something means. And then, it's, oh, that's racist, oh, that's this, oh, that's this. So you got to get rid of it. So they want to do the right thing for black people by... Oh, I'm going to do some symbolism for black people. I'm going to change my antebellum name, symbolism. We don't need symbolism. We need reparations. We done with this. Eight also done with this symbolism bull crap. We wasn't getting no symbolism before. All of a sudden, everybody else, black immigrants, DACA, LGBT, everybody getting, everybody getting something. But they want to give us um, symbolism. They don't want to give us no money, no reparations. They don't want to do that nut for us, but they want to give DACA everything or want to give them amnesty. They're giving them, um, a, a, whatever that they, um, executive thing Trump give them, um, them, give them reparations. And now, and now, um, in the next election in, um, 2040, they'll get the amnesty. We see what it is. Starting from, um, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, where black people fought and got something. And then they came in. With a Trojan horse, the Civil Rights Act of 1965, and gave everybody else who was discriminated from coming into the country, gave all of that to them. White women already here, so I don't even get that. They get their uh, affirmative action that they put it out there and said, This is what black people, this is what we're giving you. But you pass an act on top of it as, as you putting it out, black people are going to get this going to get these resources and being turned down. I know because I lived it. Like I was saying on Alpha Synergy um, comment section, I, I tell you the stuff he's saying, I get it. I said, because I lived it. There'll be six of this year. I get it. I was here when these um, Hispanics come in. I was here. I saw these people coming in. And they come into the black neighborhood like he said. They'll get in all of that, and then as, as they go to the 70s and whatever, I see they're getting the food stamps, going to the 80s and whatever. Oh, they're slowly taking it away, giving it. I saw how it go. Like I said, I can't explain it as well as a lot of these YouTubers can, but I get it because I know it. I fully understand it. So, this is what's happening again. Lady Antebellum. They want to change their name. They want to give us black people some symbolism. They want to give us some symbolism. I'm going to change my name because that has something to do with um, racism, racism or whatever back in the thing that I don't even know nothing about. I don't particularly care. Why we care about all of that stuff and whatever? They can say words or spells and whatever, but still, I don't care. Put that money there and whatever, so we can have the same amount um, of equality as everybody else. Now you having all the that thing that um I think Biden got up there. I think it's Black Lives Matter people. It's not really for Black Lives. They got up there um Black immigrants. Like we supposed Adolf are supposed to be so slow and stupid. When you say Black immigrant, we ain't supposed to understand. That when you say black immigrants, that's for every single black person in America that immigrated here after the 1964 Civil Rights Bill. We see what it is. And we ain't us. We sitting on our stool. We the engine. We the energy. We running this. We don't get nothing. Oh well. But we're not going to participate in our demise. It is what it is. But Antebellum, what did he do? So they changed their name to Lady A. They couldn't find out. 
Lady A is a name that's been used by this young lady for the last, she said two decades, 20 years. That's her name. And instead of, so they want to use her name. Like they said, they got on some Zoom and talk it out and whatever. But this lady is smart. This is my name. This is my brand. I had it all these years. You want you want me, a black woman, to give you three white people, two men and a woman. Just give you my name because you want it. So when they couldn't come to a conclusion that they can just run over this lady and talk her into just giving up her name for nothing or whatever. I don't know what they um officer is. I might look at the video. I don't know. So they decide to sue this woman. Well, I want to use your name, so I'm going to sue you because I want to use your name and you won't let me. And what did she say? She clapped back and said, You finally realize your name is racially problematic. Giving, just giving black people symbols and that ain't nothing. So you shorten it. But then sue the black woman that has been using the same name for almost two decades. That's some white privilege. Exactly. This is this woman's name. Finally, this sound like the thing that uh, Beyonce went through with Blue Ivy name. This woman was willing to sell the name of her boutique or whatever store that Beyonce. Beyonce with her, you are not, you are not getting rich off of me. Because I, because you had my baby name for the last 30 years, and I didn't know that was her name. So, what Beyonce, what Beyonce did, she ain't giving no money with what Beyonce did. Work around it. She worked around it somehow. But anyway, she, she, she didn't go sue the woman and say, well, I'm going to use your name anyway. Really? They don't want... These people don't want black people to be a part of the of the country music that they created back in the day. And they allowed them to come in and be a part of and now we don't take the we don't take this country so we don't so we you so we don't want you a part of it. But you're gonna come to this woman and just sue this woman for her name. I want to use your name, so I'm suing you. Where is the symbolism at? You change your name. You shorten your name because of racial, if racially problematic. Then you turn around and sue a black woman for her name. To use her name. You a millionaire. I never heard of this woman, so I don't know if she's a millionaire. Well, because you want to use her name, she should become a millionaire just like you. You want to become a millionaire just like you. It's just not going to work that way. Well, among their culture, they don't mind, well, helping their, um, somebody else in that area, oh well, Helping that person become like um like um back in the day I forgot this sang her name, but this girl's called called Stupid Boy. I forgot the girl that wrote the song. He sang it. He sung. He sung it, and it all popped and it sounds good. I like because I love the song, but it's her song, and I went back and listened to her singing it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But he sang it. It's popping. You see, he's a white country singer. She's a black. She's a he's a white country singer. She she's a she's a white country singer. I forgot his name. One of those big country singers. Well, you probably know him. He sings "Stupid Boy." But anyway, he just sung her song and made her song popular, more popular than she ever could do. She didn't mind him singing it. But the thing about it is, if you use this woman's name, then you need to, then you using her name supposed to bring her up too. 
the white country singer who sung the, the white country girl, she was fairly new back then. She's up there where he is now. Why this lady can't be up there where you is and you want to take her name? It's one of her, Lady B. It's three of you, a man and a woman. Lady B-E-E. -E. She's Lady B. You can still be Lady B. You can be Lady B-E. Whatever. You don't have to take the woman name because she's black. Or because she's black, we just going to take her name. Who she think her is. We always been taken from you, so who are you to sit up here and not do what I asked you to do? Give me your name or whatever. We don't talk it out and you say no. Come on now. Anyway. If you like the video, um, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit that thousand. And I'll see you next time. Bye.